This is the race from Montpelier, Saturday, May the 23rd. And uh, there's been a lot of stuff on social media, and we don't want any controversy. We just want to race, have a good time. Our family loves doing it. We just want people to see, you know, what happened. They can see the race. Um, obviously, Daryl Banks there on the pole and Bobby Strimmy on the outside. I talked to Bobby after the race, and he had bumped his uh, off switch. Uh, that's why he slows there on the back stretch. Now he gets it turned back on. But Bobby's doing a great job. He's an asphalt racer uh, that's went dirt. Uh, as the race progresses here, you'll see Randy going to the outside. Going to go around Daryl Banks. Randy takes the lead. I'm, I'm just trying to bide my time here and figure out which lane I want to be in. The outside, I think, is the fastest at this point, so I want to be on the outside. Randy goes to the lead here, and Daryl stays right with him. Bobby's back in the groove again. I think the bottom was as fast as the top was. Uh, they, uh, Davis graved, uh, graded the track right before the feature there and got it smoothed out and made it so we could run two and three wide. You see now I'm finding my groove on the outside. I'm get Daryl here and start reeling Randy in. The track's really fast. The cars are the cars are flying. We're going to be getting into lap traffic here pretty shortly. Obviously, as you can tell, my car's faster than Randy's is, so I'm going to make a move here to the bottom. My car's going to get tight. I'm going to have to let completely out of it to make sure that I don't make contact with him. It's a pretty good race. The main reason we're doing this is we just want everybody to just to see the race and see the facts. There's a lot of people there that voice their opinion. It's not there just by what gets put on social media and here I'm getting underneath Randy you know it's a little slower in three and four I have to slow down a lot more here I can stay on the gas he's obviously coming down a little bit here he sees that I'm working better on the bottom but I don't want to be on the bottom anyways I'm just trying to get him to move down so I can go around him on the outside I'll go up and take a peek on the top side here. Me and Randy are obviously pulling away from the field. Here comes the first lap car, you know. I used to be one of those lap cars, so I understand that. Those guys are learning. They're part of the race. we got to respect them. and, and uh, Obviously, they're going to get better, and maybe they'll be winning someday. Randy's going to want to come to the bottom here, so he's going to kind of lean on me a little bit, try to take my line away from me. I back way out, go way low here to make sure I don't hit this car. I'm way down on the apron. I see the other cars are kind of run, running a little higher, so I'm going to move back to the bottom here in a second. I'll pull Randy off the top side here. If you'll notice, there's no damage to his front bumper at all right now I mean zero he's behind us not even I'm coming out of the corner he hits both of us at the same time and the damage will be on his front bumper which is on the front of his car here it is in slow motion he's being aggressive I don't think he wrecked me intentionally it's just over aggressive driving I did not hit the lap car he hit both of us at the same time if he doesn't think he did he's delusional because you'll see the damage to his front bumper when he comes back around and I was I was pretty upset obviously there wasn't room there for him if he backs out and waits he he may get a shot later on my car bought went upside down I went across the infield there's nobody there I'm obviously not gonna run over anybody my cars all busted up I am mad at him I come back across, I was going to stop in front of him, trying to get his car stopped. When you're mad, you do kind of dumb things, and I am look back now, and it was dumb. I shouldn't have done it, but 
you're going to see the damage to his front bumper now. There it is. He didn't hit anybody, obviously. But he's got damage to his front bumper, and you'll see that both of our cars jumped in the air. So, obviously has some blame in this. And um, you guys can make your own judgment. So, after the race was over... Um, I went over to Harold and I just told him that I had, uh, you know, tried to race the lap cars with respect and that, that we needed those guys and, and, uh, Randy and a lot of his guys came across there and there was a couple words said and, uh, me and Randy kind of got a hold of each other and, and there was no punches thrown. There was a little bit of shoving going on and, on social media, his wife said that I throwed a punch at her, and then she said I was gunning, somebody blocked it or whatever. I never throwed a punch. Fighting's the last thing I want to do. I'm there to race. That is false. She is obviously I, saying I don't know what I don't know what she's thinking. I mean, it's it's ridiculous that she'd even say it. Obviously, she loves controversy, but um, it's not true. And uh, I just want to race have fun the rest of the summer and me and randy can put on some good shows for the crowd that's what they're there to see and i'm i'm willing to race him clean and race hard and and uh, if he doesn't want to race that way then we won't race that way